Hello students, in this video you are going to test yourself that how much you know about the naming of alkanes. Alkanes, they are saturated hydrocarbons having single bonds and the general formula is CnH2 and plus 2. So let's get started. Hmm, so this is the first compound. Name this compound, locate the longest chain and see where the substituent is present. Pause the video, write down the name and see whether your answer is the correct one. So the name of this compound is 2-methylpropane. The longest chain consisted of three carbons and at the second carbon methyl group was located. So this is 2-methylpropane. Now let's see the second compound. Think, every good genius does. Again, it's an easy one. You just have to locate the longest chain and you have to see where the substituent is present. Pause the video, write down the name. So the name of this compound is 3-ethylpentane because the longest chain consisted of 5 carbon which makes it pentane and at the third carbon, ethyl group is located. So this is 3-ethylpentane. This is the next compound. It seems a bit difficult, but it's really not. It's a very easy one. Just have to look at the longest chain and see how many substituents are present. Write down the name and see the answer. This is 4-ethyl-3,4-dimethylheptane. Again, 4-ethyl-3,4-dimethylheptane. Heptane because the longest chain consists of 7 carbons. And ethyl before methyl because the rule says when writing the substituents, you have to write them alphabetically. The order should be alphabetically. And in writing the substituents, the prefixes that is diet, right, tetra, they should be ignored. They are not taken into consideration. So the name of this compound is 4-ethyl-3,4-dimethylheptane. This is the next compound. It's a very easy one. Just see that there are four methyl substituents. And the longest chain consists of, you can see how many carbons. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now write down the name. I have made it very easy for you. Pause the video and... Now see the answer. So this is the name of this compound. 2, 2, 3, 4, tetramethylpentane. Tetramethyl because 4 methyls are present. So this makes it tetramethyl. Pentane because the longest chain consists of 5 carbons. And these are the location of the methyl groups. This is the fifth compound. Let me give you a hint. This is an isopropyl group. Isopropyl group because 3 carbons. And on the second carbon, it is attached to the longest continuous chain. That is the parent chain. Write down the name. Now see the answer. This is 4-isopropylheptane. On the fourth group, isopropyl group is attached and the longest continuous chain consists of 7 carbons. So this is 4-isopropylheptane. This is the next compound. Again, it's a very easy one. Think about the name. Write down your answer and see. The name of this compound is 2,2-dimethylbutane. The longest chain consists of 4 carbons which makes it butane and on the second carbon, 2 methyl groups are located. So this is 2 2 Dimethylbutane. The next compound. Yes, think about the name. Write down your answer. Now see the answer. The name of this compound is 2244-tetramethylpentane. Why? The longest chain consists of 5 carbons, makes it pentane, and 4 methyl groups are located, 2 on the second carbon and 2 on the fourth carbon. So this make, makes it 2244-tetramethylpentane. This is the next compound. Yikes, it seems a bit difficult. Be careful, look at the longest continuous chain and see where the substituents are present. Now let's see whether your answer is correct or not. Write down your answer, pause the video, now see the answer. The name of this compound is 334-trimethylhexane. The longest continuous chain consists of 6 carbons, not 5 carbons. You have to be careful while choosing the longest continuous chain. Don't be hasty. This is not the longest continuous chain. The longest continuous chain consists of six carbons. This is the longest continuous chain. This is the hidden chain. Okay, so these are the six carbons and this makes it hexane. And on the third carbon, two methyl groups are located. And on the fourth carbon, this methyl group is located. So this makes it 334-trimethylhexane. Now name this compound. Think about this compound. Write down the name. Pause the video. So the name of this compound is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which makes it pentane. And on the third group, and on the third carbon, ethyl group is located. So this is 3-ethylpentane. This is 3-ethylpentane. Okay, now this is a tenth compound. These are the phenyl groups, C6H5. These are the phenyl groups. Name the compound. So the name of this compound is triphenylmethane. 
Methane is carbon having four hydrogens, but in this compound, the three hydrogens are replaced by the phenyl groups, making it triphenyl methane. Three phenyl groups, so triphenyl methane. This is the 11th compound. Again, think, think hard. So the name of this compound should be this, 2-methyl-3-ethylbutane. DD is trying to say something. Oh no, I don't think so. This is not the correct name. Because the longest continuous chain consists of 4 carbons? No, it consists of 5 carbons. This is the hidden longest continuous chain. And on the second carbon, methyl group is located. And on the third carbon, methyl group is located. So this is 2,3-dimethylpentane. It's not 2-methyl-3-ethylbutane. So you have to be very careful while choosing the longest continuous chain. And this is the last compound. Name this compound. It's a, again a very easy compound. And the name of this compound is 2,2-dimethylpropane and it's also known as neopentane. Neopentane, it's the simplest alkane having a quaternary carbon. That is a carbon which is directly attached to four other carbons. So this is neopentane. As total, there are five carbons. And the name of this compound is 2,2-dimethylpropane because the longest chain consists of three carbons making it propane. And on the second carbon, methyl groups are located. So this is 2,2-dimethylpropane and it's also known as neopentane. I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Wish you all the best.